Dana Osgood is in for Keith Carson today. I just noticed on the Almanac we're already past sunset. That's how quickly yep. it has Ooh, happened already. That hurts. Yeah, right? Hadn't really clicked for me. There we are. Uh, at <laughs> least we have another nice evening to enjoy before changes around the corner. Exactly. I mentioned before that this week kind of has something for everyone. We start off warm, we end cool, we start sunny, we end rainy. It's kind of a potpourri of weather we've got going yeah. on this week. But for a lot of us today, it was another hot day out there, another instance of summer in October. Take a look at some of these temperatures. 85 today in Freiburg, 80 in Lewiston, 82 in Augusta, which was another record for them today. But there were two areas of Maine that weren't quite as warm, and that would be both eastern Maine and the coast. And there are two specific reasons for that. The first one being the wind direction. Now the wind speed here isn't really as important, but the wind direction is coming off the water, giving us a sea breeze, which didn't allow the shore to get as warm as some places inland today. So that has a pretty big impact on temperature, especially when the water is on the cooler side. Now, the reason that eastern Maine didn't see as much high temperatures today is because of this front to our north, which gave us just some cloud cover earlier today. It did manage to move out of our area to give them some later day sun, but it didn't allow temperatures to get quite as warm in that area. But if you're not a fan of the heat, I do have good news for you. The pattern is going to be changing as we go over the next couple of days. Now, this high that we've been talking about, it feels like forever at this point, is going to move offshore, which allows a cold front and a low to be on the approach for the weekend. So we're going to be increasing in cloud cover as we go over the next couple of days. And then when we get to the weekend, we'll have the cold front interacting with the remnants of Philippe. So that'll give us some extra rain and some higher wind gusts over the weekend. Overall, I think there's a slight chance that we could see some localized flooding and some higher wind gusts as well. But overall, it's not going to be as large of an impact as we had with Lee last month. So as we go over the next couple of days, tomorrow especially, we're going to start out with a lot of fog and that has to do with some of that onshore flow as well. It's going to take a while for it to burn off and then it's going to just be replaced by some clouds as we get later into the day. So if you like the sunshine, that's what today is for. We're going to kind of get more cloudy as we go over the next couple of days. We could see a couple of showers start to come in Friday evening and then the weekend is really when we start to see a lot of that heavy rain begin to move in. So kind of a wash out there. Any outdoor plans I'd recommend bringing inside for the weekend. Most people about one to two inches of rain could see some locally heavier spots. So I think there is a slight chance of some flooding. So we'll keep an eye on this to see exactly where the highest rain bands are going to set up. It's two to three feet for seas, water 61. So here's our seven day forecast. So we're going to remain dry over the next couple of days, but that pattern, you can really see it shifting over the next few days as we get temperatures begin to get lower, get some more clouds, rain for the weekend. So I think it's not really gonna be a great weekend, all things considered, but then that storm system moves through pretty quickly. So by the time we start next week, we'll be on the cooler side, temps in the upper 50s to lower 60s, not too much sun, but it is going to be drier. So Brian and Amanda, weekend plans, this is the time for inside ones. We'll save the outdoor plans for after. Okay, Dana, thank you. Of course.